What is up guys, Scarp80 here, and today I'm bringing you guys my second Clash Royale video of the day. And um, this video is going to be about how to unlock the troop you want in Clash Royale. So, um, first of all, how do you unlock troops? There are two ways. One of them is you can buy them in the store um, if you don't have them. So, for example, you can buy the cards separately, or with gems, you could buy the chest. But that is also kind of like the second way, because the second way is with chests. Um, these chests, you unlock them by battles, and uh, it takes a certain amount of time to unlock. However, the crown chest, which is over here at the top right, that um, you can unlock it by getting, I think it was 10 crowns um, by battling. And the free chest, you just get them, well, free every four hours. So, um... Yeah, that's how you get it. So, for example, if I wanted to um, to see what troops I got, I would open a chest. See, I got 33 gold, an arrow, and three spear goblins. So now, I can put any other chest so that it starts unlocking and um, the eight hours start counting down. So if you've played Clash Royale before, you've probably wondered how you can get the troop you want. So let's say, for example, you really, really, really want the baby dragon, which is what I want so far. Or, um, like, right now, I really, really, really wanted the prince, which I just unlocked. And the um, goblin bear, which I also just unlocked. So, here is what I think is the best way that you can unlock um, the troop you want. So first of all, go into your arenas and see where the troop you want is at. So for example, the Goblin Barrel is at Goblin Stadium, which is the first arena. And then the Baby Dragon and the Knight were at the training camp. So by completing the first seven uh, battles, you can already unlock these. So the first tip I want to give you is if, for example, you want to unlock the Baby Dragon and you're at Goblin... You're at the Goblin Stadium, which is zero plus trophies. Then I would suggest trying not to move forward to Bone Pit. Because as you can see, when you move on to Bone Pit, you can unlock six more troops. Which means that you have less chance of unlocking the troop you wanted. Because now, there are six more troops that you can unlock. Right, so I hope you understood that. It's basically that right here, for example... I can unlock six troops and I want to unlock one out of the six troops. But if I move on to here, then I would like to unlock one out of 12 troops. So I, I would have one in 12 chance instead of one of six chance. So that is the first way that um, you can get the troop you want easier. Right, so the second way you can get the troop, it's probably not going to be the way you're looking for. And, uh, Probably not all of us are going to be able to do it. But in achievements, whenever you complete a couple of achievements, you get gems. Like right now, there are only a couple of achievements. But, you know, as the game grows, there are probably going to be way more achievements. You can cash out those achievements for gems. And you can buy some chests with gems. If I were to recommend a gem, I mean, if I were to recommend a chest, I would recommend the magical chest because it comes at least with one epic and eight rares with a total of 41 cards. In this same chest, I was able to get the prince and the goblin barrel. Um, so it didn't come with one epic, it came with two. So that would be the second way, um, saving up your gems so that you get chest. And if you just want to do it faster, using your gems to speed up the unlocks um, for your chest. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And once again, Scarpady out.